Well, we have a pretty quiet evening ahead. We had a handful of showers today, but the bulk of the rain and the only thunderstorms I saw were in Stark County. So most of us didn't really see much of anything at all, and that's what I'm expecting for everyone over the coming days. Here's a look at this evening temperatures dipping into the 70s early tomorrow morning. Some of us will be in the 60s, and I do have a 10 to 20% chance for showers. So yes, we could see a handful of sprinkles. In fact, you'll see one or two pop up here or there. So yes, one or two of us could get some rain, but I definitely am not concerned about it ruining any of your weekend plans, Friday plans, whatever it is, go for it. We're going to be okay Saturday morning keeping those lows in the 60s, highs back up in the mid to upper 80s. These temperatures that we're going to feel starting tomorrow are going to be pretty much right on par with normal for this time of year. Rain chances are actually a little bit above normal. We're still ahead of schedule in terms of the rainfall that we've received. 20% chance for tomorrow, Saturday, maybe a slight increase Sunday, but then those rain chances will diminish. And by the way, speaking of the rainfall that we're already ahead of, let's take a look at what we do have on total so far. For the last three days, see the bulk of the rain in Willisee County there. That was yesterday. And then we also saw some rain in Star County today. A lot of us anywhere from a trace to only half an inch, exceeding maybe Brownsville, South Potter Island estimates a little bit higher than the rest of us. And for that drought monitor, here's proof that we're ahead of schedule. Last year this time, we were looking at a severe to extreme drought in the valley, and right now we have no drought. This is great news heading into one of our drier seasons. Hopefully this trend continues and hopefully we've gotten enough rain to keep us ahead through this winter. Tomorrow 86 near normal highs, stray shower 20% chance. That's it. Again, don't worry about it. Don't reschedule your outdoor plans. Just keep the umbrella in the car just to be safe. And if you want to go out to the beach, pay close attention. We still have a high rip current risk. I think you can risk going out and catching a little bit of rain. It's not going to be that big of a deal, but I definitely don't want anyone swimming because it's just not going to be safe to do so. Now, quick look at what we have going on out in the tropics. We do have two areas of interest that we're still keeping. Oh, let's do the Friday football forecast first, guys. Uh, we do have game of the week heading into tomorrow night. We're looking at West Coast and Edinburgh North temperatures in the low 80s for the start of the game after the game into the low 70s. Uh, it's going to be a great forecast. Now let's get to what's going on in the tropics. We have two areas of interest. We actually have a recent update from the National Hurricane Center. Just upgraded to 40% chance for development. This could end up kind of trying to cross Yucatan, but I'm still not concerned about us re it reaching us here in the valley. Of course, we'll keep you updated. As for what's out in the Atlantic, lowered to a 20% chance for development. So right now, I'm not expecting to see any named storms, but as always, we're going to keep you updated here with the latest. Seven-day forecast has us with isolated showers the next few days and highs in the 80s.